Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg of TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in again today. Um, we're actually going to show you a trailer and I'm going to point out a couple things that uh, some customers came on the lot yesterday and they tune into our videos very often. We learned that right away with a lot of stuff they were telling us and in different videos they had seen but they pointed out a couple things that when they got to see the trailer in person that we haven't pointed out to you so when we go through this Cimarron trailer I'll kind of point out a couple things that they brought to our attention that we want to share with you that makes these Cimarrons even better they had no idea about some of these some of these benefits and features that we have on some of these trailers so as we work through it we'll kind of point some of that stuff out but what we have here is a 2021 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. Uh, this trailer here, we if you watch a lot of our videos, we tell you time and time again, we try to keep a wide selection of trailers on hand, um, but then we try to have some different options for you on some of these trailers. So example, this is a four horse. Um, I'll show you the different tack setup on this trailer and then kind of mention a couple other trailers that we have but we try to keep a couple of these on hand to where if one sells we've got another one available as we're reordering that trailer again so we have such a wide selection and such a wide availability of trailers here um, if you're not looking to wait to have something custom built if you want to go that route we can do that for you um, that is definitely something we can help you with but let's kind of work through this trailer a little bit up underneath the gooseneck here, I mean, you just have your single leg uh, manual crank. Your crank handle stores back over here. But the cool thing about this is, is it doubles as a lug wrench for you. So you always have a lug wrench available if you need to change a, a flat tire blowout, anything like that. You don't have to go looking for that four way or anything anything along those lines. So I mentioned we have a couple different tack setups. On this one here, we have a front dressing room with a no rear tack. And on these type of setups, we like the swing out saddle rack because it's pretty convenient to have your saddles right here as you're out getting saddled or unsaddling. Um, this is a four tier carpeted saddle rack that swings in, it's on a gas shock and then it just tucks out of the way. And one of the things we upgraded on this trailer is this big 42 inch wide door. <clears throat> um, typically, you know this, if you have the smaller door, everything shifts forward and then getting in and out of this trailer, you don't have this complete open space right here with the saddles in or if you have them swung out. It's kind of difficult, you gotta kind of work around this. So whether this is swung out or in, you have just a nice clear path getting into this tack room. And then we put this fold up step here for you so it's really convenient and easy jumping in and out of this trailer here. But one a couple things we've done on these trailers is you have your standard windows and the gooseneck. So if you are going to throw a mattress in here, some bed rolls, you can create a, a cross breeze through here, staying nice and cool. But we carpet the whole deck here. We put a boot box for you for some little just miscellaneous storage so stuff isn't floating around and it also works as a nice step jumping up into that gooseneck. We also frame these trailers for an AC unit so if you wanted to put an AC unit on one of these trailers down the road you need to put a 30 amp service you know power pack on here uh, but that part's already done that does save a lot of time and a lot of cost after the fact by having that already framed in there. One thing that those customers that came in yesterday, they've, we've always pointed out this shelf and this clothes rod, but they were talking like, hey, we were needing to kind of figure out a way to kind of bungee cord to put stuff up here because they thought this thing, this shelf here was just flat. And actually, it has a two inch lip. So if you do have some items that you want to set up in here and you're worried that they can could potentially slide off. That's not the case. This has a lip all the way around it. Um, and then they even put a rubber mat up there. So it's not just a flat aluminum uh, shelf. It will secure everything up in there. Things aren't going to slide off. And then you have your clothes rod underneath. So this is a great, you know, great place for you if you're needing to change for an event or a show or anything like that. It's pretty easy to jump in here and, and be completely sealed off. 
Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to show you is, is we talk about how these are adjustable saddle racks on these on these trailers and it's very very simple I've kind of got it already somewhat loosened up but basically you just loosen these guys here and here and this guy just slides up and down so you can you know position it where you'd like and then again just tighten it up and then for example if you were you know on this trailer here say hey you know what I don't need the four tier saddle rack I could get by with three basically you loosen these up and it slides right out the top of this so that tracks already built in there Cimarron's already done that for you so it is just really easy to to make the adjustments you want to these saddle racks um, you could add uh, blanket poles to these this one actually has a four tier on the door outside but if you wanted to, you can manipulate these all you want we do have the drawing of this trailer, and if you are looking at that, one thing you will notice is, is we, in the drawing, this trailer is equipped with a corner water tank. So some of the things we're having to deal with right now with um, some vendors being behind on, on certain items with everything that's going on right now, um, those corner water tanks are on back order. They've been back order, on back order for a couple months. So um, we just, instead of holding the trailer up, we wanted to go ahead and finish it and ship it up here down the road we already have the d-rings back there for you so it'd be very very easy to go in and add that corner water tank but i just wanted to point that out that uh, this trailer was originally ordered with that and because of everything that's going on it doesn't have one in there right now um, but again we can do that down the road when everybody does get caught up like i mentioned that um, four tier blanket poles on the door brush tray so you got some nice storage At the exterior here, you'll just notice, I always like to point out these big, big, massive bus windows that Cimarron uses on the hip side. You know, they're not really small. You know, only half of this is going to slide open. So when you get into some manufacturers, they, they have a bus window, but it's a very small bus window. And again, only about half of that opens up to where Cimarron tries to accommodate and, and put these larger bus windows in there so we can get more airflow in these trailers, which is really, really nice. We always have to mention these wheels and tires because Cimarron's teamed up with a vendor, Lion's Head, that um, offers some really good warranty. Um, so not only are you getting a really good trailer warranty, but you're getting a good wheel and tire warranty. You have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires. So if you catch a nail, you have a blowout, anything like that, they'll cover it for a year. You just take a picture of some codes, you send it in to Lion's Head, they'll send you a new tire within a couple days. You have aluminum spoke wheels that are standard but you also have a lifetime warranty on the structure of those and then you have two years of roadside assistance which is pretty nice as well on top of that Cimarron warranty which is eight year structure three year nose to tail they really stand behind the product and then the other thing that Lion's Head does is that green tab on the tires is those are nitrogen filled tires so our PSI levels aren't fluctuating drastically. I love the example Ben used um, when he was up here a few weeks ago, the president at Cimarron. He says, uh, you know, airliners use nitrogen filled tires. I mean, think about the, the elevation difference and temperature difference they're having to deal with. And, and the reason why they use that nitrogen filled is we're not seeing big fluctuations in PSI levels. As we get to the back end, the business end of the trailer, this is a dual independent doors, which is really nice because you can open one door ahead of the other. You don't have to go in any type of sequence. It is a 60-40 setup. So our right hand door is, is 60 and the left hand door is 40 from the standpoint of, of the way that they open. So this door can remain closed and you can load and unload horses through a little bit wider doors there. And then as you jump in here, I want to point out too that we actually extend on our Cimarron's this last stall. We don't, if we if we don't if we don't have to, we're not. We'd rather keep a nice solid divider rather than a telescoping. So we actually add a little bit of footage to this trailer back here. Um, that way we can allow for this solid divider, but it'll it'll close against the wall, and then we can shut the rear door. Um, some manufacturers, they'll actually 
they'll keep this last stall the normal length and when the back doors are shut if you have a solid divider it kind of sticks off the wall like that we like to go ahead and get it over against the wall and out of the way but also just really nice heavy duty dividers with a spring on them so this trailer is actually leaning towards um, passenger side as we're sitting here but because of the springs that Cimarron uses I'll show you on this one I'm not even touching that it swings over against that driver's side that left hand side of the the trailer and stays out of the way so as you are loading and unloading these dividers aren't you're not having to mess with them and hold them back trying to get loaded and unloaded like I mentioned this first one here's a stud divider um, if you we have a lot of customers that like a three horse or a four horse and a lot of times they're not even filling up the trailers they use the first stall as storage because now we can go ahead and secure everything we don't have to worry about stuff getting underneath horses and in, in uh, transit um, and you can access access it from the uh, escape door out there as well I always like pointing out these divider latches that Cimarron uses. This is a cast aluminum piece here. And then this is a heavy duty UHMW plastic paddle latch. So we don't have any metal to metal contact. Metal to metal contact makes a lot of noise, but it'll also rub over time and wear and could be potential of parts you have to replace. So we understand that this is an investment but this is an investment that you're not going to have to put as much money into down the road because the quality parts the quality engineering that Cimarron has used you know just makes it to where these trailers you're not having to put as much money into them to maintain them but just really really nice and easy to close really quiet you know this doesn't rattle make any noise at all so it's an anti-rattle and then Everything that Cimarron does has a radius on it. That was another thing that customer pointed out yesterday is, I mean, it's, it's everything. It's back here in the stall area for the horses. It's up in the tack area. I mean, everything just has a radius. So there's no sharp edges, no 90 degrees, nothing protruding out, nothing that's going to, you know, cause any type of harm to the animals or you yourself. So um, I always mention, you know, we're standing in the industry's best floor. This is a 12 inch deck, four inch centers. Uh, you can't find a better floor out there on the market. I mean, wherever you have a horse standing on this, they're standing on a support beam. Um, I mean, that's, th this trailer will hold up so well over time if you just take care of it, you know, pull your mats and clean it out really well. Um, but it will last you a very long time. And then you have Cimarron standard insulated roof, half inch thick honeycomb design. You know, different times of the year we have to deal with hail here in Colorado. Uh, we had a hailstorm in August. Everything that had aluminum sheeted roof or, you know, just a, a lighter weight aluminum, whether it was on the sides, got some hail dings, but these Cimarron's didn't. That roof makes a big difference. The, the gauge of aluminum sheeting on the side makes a difference. They use really heavy duty um, material when they're building these trailers. But on that roof, it also keeps the stall area cooler. So like I mentioned up in the front tack room area, if you're, if you're spending a night in there, you know, it's going to be able to keep that nice and cool. But then also back here for your animals, it's going to keep it nice and cool for them as well. And then as we get over here on the head side for the horses, there's big, massive openings as far as the drop windows. So we can again, create a lot of airflow through there, keeping your animals nice and cool, nice and comfortable. Really easy to drop those jail bars down. If you are at a rest stop, fueling up or anything like that, you wanna give them some additional feed, some water, anything like that. It's really easy to, to access that. But then these are just huge, massive drop windows. I mean, those are good and stout. And they're welded hinges with greasers. So again, from a, from a maintenance standpoint, I mean, you can go in there with a grease gun and, and grease those up. So uh, there's, there's a lot of things like that that, I mean, just kind of brought to our attention yesterday when we were talking to that customer and we we're walking through some of that stuff and that's some stuff we wanted to kind of point out. I mean, again, when we talk about the maintenance of these trailers and not having to spend it, as much money on them uh, compared to some others. For example, this is a bolt-on fender right here. If something happens to that fender, if you do have a blowout or something happens to it where it damages it, you know, you get the parts and, and if you're capable of doing it, you can swap this 
this fender out yourself. Well, that just saved you a bunch in, in shop cost. You know, pretty much everybody else has a, a weld on fenders. So you gotta cut the whole thing off, then you gotta put the new one on, re-weld it, do your wiring for your lights. This is a lot simpler system. So again, you know, you're not spending as much money maintaining these trailers. And like I mentioned, when we are in the stall area there, there's your escape door going into stall number one. It does have a chest bar that goes across there and there is a, a strap at the back that goes across the, the whole length of, or the whole width of the trailer. Uh, but like I mentioned, we've got, you know, we try to keep a couple of these on hand in threes and fours. And then we've got some different tack setups. We've got a closet tack setup, so we have a completely sealed off tack room. We've got a front dressing room with a folding rear tack, so you can move that between them. So we try to keep some variety here for you to, to meet whatever needs you have and whatever you're looking for on your next trailer. So if you are interested in this trailer, it's stock number 5N, 800851. It is a 2021 Cimarron 4 Horse Gooseneck. If you have any questions on this trailer or want to talk to anybody about maybe building a trailer, what else we have available, what else we have on order, because we can look at everything we have on order. We can tell you an estimated completion date. If there's changes we can still make to that trailer, um, it might get to a certain point where we can't and maybe we need to look at, you know, just building a trailer. We can help you through that entire process. So give us a call. Anybody here on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-684. 3400. Have a good day.